Thank you. Good afternoon. Namaste. Hello, world. How are you? Okay. I feel absolutely great, despite some health problems, uh, and really privileged uh, to be on this grand stage in front of a brilliant audience. Thank you. Today, I come here to talk about hiring fresh graduates to WordPress content marketing jobs, opportunities, challenges, in a way. So let's begin. Uh, I'd like to start with a story. Uh, it was about three years ago when I was fully freelancing. Uh, I mean, I had no full-time job. Uh, at that time, uh, some of the WordPress companies in my hometown reached out to me asking for help in content marketing. Uh, I agreed, and then I joined, uh, but the first thing I found out was that they had either no one or just one person for everything marketing. Oh man, what can I do alone? Really, I cannot do anything alone. And the first thing I suggested was that we need a team. Let's hire. They agreed, but they also warned me that it's not so easy here. Uh, we tried, but we failed. Uh, so they told me there were mainly two problems. First of all, uh, when you are a small company, you have limited budget and resources. So when you have limited budget and resources, you cannot really uh, afford to hire the experts. And uh, suppose the um, uh, experts we are talking about are from high-wage earning countries, then it's uh, not a really a feasible option. Uh, the other problem is uh, that when uh, you are from a small country or a small town, then uh, there might be, there may not be enough people in the talent pool. So you may not uh, be, um, you may not be able to find the uh, kind of people that you are looking for. Luckily, we had both of these situations. But anyways, we needed a team. So we took it as a challenge. Let's uh, open the vacancies, and we did. We, uh, we uh, announced our vacancies, and we tried to make uh, those vacancy announcements as inclusive as possible as we wanted more and more people to apply. So we mentioned that freshers are also encouraged to apply, and also we stated that we would provide them training within the company, within the team, and we would uh, help them turn into expert marketers. We did that. And uh, the results were great. We received plenty of applications. Um, and next thing, uh, as promised, we uh, shortlisted some of those candidates, and as promised, we started training. Uh, so I'd like to tell what kind of people we got, we um, got applications from. So uh, we could categorize them into mainly two categories. Uh, one, experienced uh, writers, and the freshers, uh, those who had just graduated from their college. So there's one interesting thing about experienced writers. I already told you there um, are, are not people uh, in the industry. So who are those experienced people? So these people, these experienced writers were not experienced in WordPress or any relatedness. They were experienced in um, biography writing, gossip writing about Hollywood celebrities and their relationships. So, so unrelated. But yeah, we had to take the talents. We did. We hired some of the experienced writers and some of the phrases. We trained them for a few months, and the results turned out to be really stunning because we had paid less to these phrases and a bit more to the 
uh, experienced ones because they had some experience in content writing. But what happened is that these phrases turned out to be better employees, better marketers for us. Now, you might ask why. So there are mainly, I uh, point out, three reasons. First of all, they are curious and eager to learn. Like the children, they ask lots of questions. They some, sometimes uh, sense, uh, some questions make sense, some don't. But they ask questions, and they are really eager to learn. Next, they were ready to, they were eager to and willing to listen to your ideas. Uh, in case of the experienced uh, ones, they had a set of pre-acquired skills that they learned in their previous job, and because of that, uh, they were not really um, willing to unlearn those and um, adapt to what we were teaching. So. Due to these uh, two reasons, uh, it was not easy to mold and work with the experienced ones, while it was easy and, um, to mold and work with the freshers. So, yeah. Um, after these experiments, uh, we also uh, discovered some great opportunities that we could do with training the um, Freshers, so that's what I'm going to share next. So first of all, we were able to connect those fresh minds with WordPress and the open source movement. We all agree that WordPress has done great things for all of us. It has changed our lives for better. We all agree on that, right? So we were able to connect our young people the first graduates in our hometown, in our town, to the WordPress, we, we were able to um, help them get into WordPress. Actually, uh, we created an environment that um, they fall in love with WordPress, the first, uh, be, uh, WordPress be their first love, right? So, you know, first loves are really special, and we help them, uh, we help, this, uh, help them, there's young people, have their first love with WordPress, and I believe their lives will change forever. Uh, and by doing that, I think we were also able to make small contribution to the WordPress and the open source movement. Next, um, we were also creating uh, jobs for the young people in the town. So, uh, when you have a college degree, it doesn't guarantee that you have the skills for some job, right? But by offering training to the fresh graduates, we were able to bridge that gap, close that gap, and help uh, people uh, get the skills uh, required for the job. So in a way, we were also uh, doing some little contribution to the economy of the country. Um, so I think that's also a great thing to do. And last but not the least, really important one, we were able to find the right type of people we were looking for. We were able to utilize the unused brains to study and market our products. I really like, I am really a fan of the enthusiasm and the creativity these young people have. So when you have them in your team, Oh my God, their energy is contagious. Like, you can feel that vibe, right? So when you have these young people in your team, you can expect all kinds of creative things. So we had that. So I really, really uh, think it's a great thing to do. Um, and some photo time. So these are the uh, people that I have most recently worked. And I am really, really proud to say that I personally trained them and really proud of them. Uh, they are great content writers, great video content creators, great podcasters, great speakers. So, yeah. Okay, so despite these uh, benefits, there are some challenges too. So I'll just uh, go. So first of all, can you be like a personal trainer? This is really, really important. So when you hire the freshers, they are really the freshers. They have no real work experience 
any real work experience. So you have to teach them everything. So starting with the work culture, how it is like to be uh, working in a professional space. And also uh, WordPress, the entire new technology, and also the content writing or the marketing things that you really want them to know, right? So a lot of things all at once. And so I also talked about the creativity, the enthusiasm that they have. So sometimes that can be also a problem. So all of the, these things you are going to handle all at once. And um, yeah, so you really need to tease them step by step. So you really need lots of passion, lots of patience, and you really need really great teasing skills. So yeah, this is one thing that you should consider. Next, your judgments are not always correct. Sometimes you hire, uh, you, you select a few people uh, and you train them, uh, but what happens is that after a few months, they realize, okay, this is not the thing I want to do. <sighs> oh, I made the wrong decision. Same for you, same for them. So yeah, eventually some of those are going to leave no matter what. So it always the same. So yeah, uh, that's why you have to be also ready for situations like that. Uh, but anyways, I think, or I can uh, uh, say it from my experience that those staying will be more than those living. So, uh, so what's the right way? I would just like to say here that you should a plan and start, so whoever in your team or you, whoever in your team or you uh, should allocate some of your time, plan and start it, because I say again that it's worth your investment, worth your time, and the benefits are, benefits really outweigh the challenges that I shared. So that's my time. Thank you so much for being here and listening to my talk. Um, you can find me on these uh, places. And if you have any questions, please meet me outside or any feedback. Thank you.